Hi, I'm Steve Tattersall with Antares Tile in Boulder, Colorado. I'm going to uh, build a cubby in a shower that I'm working on now with the John Mansville Go Board. It's light, it's 100% waterproof, you can carry five sheets at a time. I've got quarter inch and half inch here. Um, it's a simple score and snap board you can use for backer. I'm using this because I want to keep moving on my tile and to waterproof I can put their sealant on it, hit it with a knife and in 20 minutes it's dry enough for tile. So I don't have to put waterproofing on it, two coats of waterproofing, tape corners, all that sort of thing. When I build out my cubbies I like to have them line up exactly to the tile if I have that option depending on the size of the tile. Um, it's easier for me, there's less cutting. So with these, um, with these self-leveling spacers, I can put this tile on here temporarily to see exactly where my cubby is going to be. I've gone ahead and drawn, I've set all the tile around here, I've drawn where my cubby is going to be. I'm going to pull the tile, cut this off. In the framing stages, it's so hard to frame exactly to where your tile is going to end up. So with this board that I can glue together, quickly thin set and throw into place and shim, and then waterproof, I can speed up this whole cubby process. So I've cut my hole, I've um, cut my pieces and measured the bottom. I'm going to have a piece of half, a piece of quarter. I'm going to put a couple of drywall shims underneath the back of it to give me the slope. Here's how this stuff cuts. It's just like that. The edges are clean. It's not like drywall where you have to go back and scrape and clean everything up. I'll put my drywall shims in. A little thin set in between them, help stick them together. So. I've measured the sides the same way. Again, this one's a half and a quarter. This side over here is two halves. Um, I'm going to thin set, screw them all in there, set my tile. I'll wait for the top one to make sure that I'm exactly where I think I need to be. Um, and I'll show you the waterproofing. So this is the Go Board sealant that um, is from John's Manville also that's meant to go with this board. Um, it's a modified urethane waterproof sealant. Dries for tile in about 20 minutes. And they want you to leave about a one inch width in all of your corners. So I'll fill the corner. Give myself a little bead. go all the way around. I'm going to put a nice generous lap on this Dens shield and I'll come around the outside with it as well. And that's your waterproofing. Go all the way around, hit all of your screw holes, I'm going to go to lunch, come back in time. So I had some Schluter Quadec. They're square with the corners. 
left over from another job. I had just enough for this. I went ahead and cut the schluter and throw tile in there. It's all good to go. So I've set the rest of my tile inside the niche. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to put back here. I'm not going to know until I get my countertop in. And I'm not worried about it. It's waterproof. It's got the go board sealant all the way around it. And um, it's watertight. Um, also, these sidewalls are all glass. It was quite a bit of cutting on both ends to make sure that it fit to everything that was going on in here. And I was having troubles with my saw where I couldn't get the, I couldn't set the depth of my blade deeper and it was chipping this, the glass like crazy. So I took a piece of the quarter inch go board, put it on the bed of my saw. I was able to lay my glass on top of that and cut through and just keep the go board so that I had a nice clean edge so that the glass was a little higher into the saw blade. I also use my tile saw for cutting the Schluter edging. Also helps to have it a little bit higher in the blade so when the blade comes around it doesn't jam or want to push the stuff through the saw. Um, it was extremely helpful for the glass. There is almost no chipping. It didn't damage the back of the glass. It didn't chip the front of the glass. It's the cleanest cut I've ever had just by lifting that glass up into the blade another quarter inch. I'm always keeping a sheet of quarter inch and half inch in my van um, for shimming places like this, for shimming studs, anything you need to. It's rigid. After cutting all this glass, the go board never got soft or fatigued. It was always still absolutely as clean of a cut going through it. Um, I was a couple of days, you know, I wasn't in a hurry. I'd do a little bit, I'd come back the next day. This would sit on the bed of the saw soaking wet, and I could still use it the next day. It was extremely helpful in cutting the glass tile. Also, if you're working with mosaics and or the pencil tile and as you go through the pencil tile there's always that one piece where you're only cutting an eighth of an inch off and it wants to drop down into the gap of your saw if you have something to keep it. I used to put another piece of uh, ceramic tile down and just cut through it with the go board it, it stays clean it, it narrows that gap Oops, well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the camera had run out of um, battery there while I was videoing that. And while I'm at it and talking the praises of GoBoard, you get the idea what I was saying. Um, I also uh, specialize in linear drains, and um, this is the wall drain from Quick Drain USA. The bottom course of tile sits three-eighths of an inch up off the floor, the water goes right underneath the wall. So um, I have many videos posted for Quick Drain USA for their shower line drain, their pro line drain, all, their, um, the, all the lines of their linear drains. So look for Steve Tat on YouTube and you will see all the videos of drains and go board. Thanks.